Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how to make an effective ant killer out of borax. Borax is sodium tetraborate. It is a mineral. The main element that's in here is boron and it's also um, a salt, a salt of boric acid. However you want to look it up and research it, sodium tetraborate, borax, is what kills ants. Now you can't use straight borax, the ants won't eat it. If you look online you're going to see a lot of different recipes. Some recipes call for a one to one ratio. Other recipes call for an 8 to 1 ratio. Last year I used this in a liquid form, uh, just a spray, and I used a 6 to 1 ratio, and it seemed to work directly. Let me show you how I made it. What I'm going to do is stick with the recipe, like I said, a 6 to 1 ratio of sugar to borax. If you notice it doesn't work for some reason, you can then maybe go to a 3 to 1 ratio, or maybe put in another half a tablespoon. But this is going to be 6 tablespoons sugar, one tablespoon borax and it's always best to start with less and work your way up. And now I don't want to use a liquid uh, in here because one it'll dry up, two I have a dog and if it rolls over the liquid's going to drip out the holes. All you do is put holes in the sides with a knife just like this. That sets up your container. You just want the holes all the way around, a couple on top so the ants can get in there. But I really didn't want the liquid dripping all over the place. So that's the container it's going to go in. To make it, first of all, you can use a similar container, but just put borax ant so that you know what you have in here. And I'm not making a liquid spray. I want this to be a little bit uh, drier. It's going to have some water in it. You can also make this in a syrup form. The problem with the syrup is the syrup will dry really hard and then the ants can't get to it. So what I want to do is start with the borax. That's one tablespoon and add some warm water, just a couple of drops, to dissolve it. And you're going to do it slowly because you don't want to make a syrup. You want it to sort of be wet with the sugar and even when that dries it'll be harder than table sugar but the ants will be able to break it off. So you want a consistency like that and you would swirl it around till it dissolves. The key is that the ants need to eat the sugar and the borax and get it into their system and that's what will kill the ants. It can even take this back to their nest. Other ants can eat the sugar and I can hear it's a little bit sandy sounding. You really want to swirl this until it dissolves but to save time on the video I'm just going to go to the next step. Now the next step is to add the sugar. Don't add all six cups in or six tablespoons in first. Just add one mix it in and you can see that it's thickening up. Let it absorb the tetraborate or the borax and you can touch this uh, if you want but I recommend just to use a spoon. I have a popsicle stick that's one tablespoon. Put in your second tablespoon. And again, you're not making this into a syrup. Some recipes call you just put in the six tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of borax, you know, half a cup of water, and that's your solution. That's great if you want to spray. But for these containers, you want it to be something that dries out, but the ants can eat. And this way it can sit in your garden for a long time. All right, so by the third tablespoon, you're going to have to mix it up with a popsicle stick. At that point, you can put the rest in the borax that's mixed in with the sugar. And you're just going to mix this up. There's enough water in there to distribute it through the sugar. It's dry enough that the ants will be able to break off pieces of the sugar. Just mix it in well. So this is your bait. Again it's a 6 to 1 ratio and you slowly add in the sugar and then all you do for your bait is drop it into your container I would chop it up into little pieces. Just 
get rid of that. Again, label it so you know what this is. It's hard to figure out sometimes when you have a lot of stuff in your garage. So there it is, there's the bait. Put the lid on. You just make holes in it with a knife on the top, around the bottom. And then if you have pets, it's always a good idea to seal the lid down with some duct tape. Now with the holes in the top when it rains, some water will get in there. It will uh, dissolve the sugars. And this can be an ongoing bait for quite a while in your garden. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is a great way to make a proven and insecticide out of borax. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.